So in this first cabinet, ah, I can hear the hallelujah chorus. It is just so beautiful to me. I like to do a double border. All right, this cabinet is my favorite. This is where all of my math manipulatives are. Look how pretty, you guys. And I decided to use this as a number talk board. So I'm gonna be completing number talks on a daily basis with my students. And while I'm here, I do have this beautiful new rug that I got from Wayfair this summer. Then we come to my other whiteboard. And this is kind of like my main board. Like it has it all going on. This black and white striped container came from Target and it's holding all of my beautiful color-coded pens. Then I have all of my beautiful Sterilite drawers. I love these things to death. Welcome back to my channel. I know you guys are super excited for my classroom tour. I'm super excited for you guys to see it. So I'm gonna keep this talking part pretty short. I wanted to start though by saying, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I really hope you will subscribe, stick around with me. I post a weekly classroom vlog every Saturday morning at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Basically, I just go through my week as a teacher so you guys get a pretty good idea of what I'm going through. I'm very honest and open with my feelings and when I'm stressed and overwhelmed. I also post a video every Sunday. It goes live at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, just like on Saturday. It's typically a sit-down video, kind of like this, and I either give you more information on something like curriculum-based. It could be a Target haul because I tend to go there very often. You guys get the point, but I have two videos that go up every week. And if you do not know who I am, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Michelle Ferre. I previously taught second grade on the Eastern Shore of Maryland for three years, but just over the summer, I moved, and I'm in a new district. I'm in a new school and a new grade level. I am now teaching teaching fourth grade math, science, and social studies. I wanted to give you guys one quick warning before I jump into the classroom tour. I did film this on Friday afternoon after the first week of school, and let me tell you, back to school teacher brain is a very real thing, and you guys will tell I'm very tired. I kind of stumble over my words at points, but just bear with me, I promise I was doing the best that I could at the time. Also, I was filming it literally at like 9 p.m., and I was terrified that the custodians were gonna come in and kick me out, so that's why I start talking like really, really fast, because. I felt like I was running out of time. As I went through the tour, I tried to remember to tell you where everything came from, and I tried to link as much of the stuff for you in the description box of this video as possible, but if for some reason I forgot something, just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can to answer your question. Without further ado, I present to you guys my classroom tour for the 2017-2018 school year. I hope you guys enjoy it. The first thing I wanted to do was just give you guys like a full scan of the room, so I'm standing right by the door when you come in. This is exactly how my room looks. Right next to the door, I do have a trash can. This is a Rubbermaid. I think it's like a 10 gallon trash can. But anyway, I got this off of Amazon. It's pretty cheap. It's about $10. I recommend labeling it with both your name and your room number because if you send a kid with a trash can to the nurse, the trash can does not always come back with the kids. So just a good recommendation so you don't end up losing your trash can. Now this under here, this container came from Target. I used it to store paper when I moved classrooms, but I kind of had it left over. So I am using it right now to store cards. I have 24 cards in there and I also have regular playing cards that I will end up putting in there as well. I love having this little ledge like right by my door and I'm gonna move this because it's bothering me. It just comes really in handy so every morning we have to stand by our door from 8 55 to 9 15 as students are coming in and I always have coffee so I love to be able to put the coffee here on the ledge and I also put this little doorstop. This is a stoppy doorstop. It works really really well. My kids know how to use it and I highly recommend it. It's just a little bit cuter and kind of like funky looking compared to a regular like wooden doorstop. Then I just have a plain desk right here. I do have my students sign in and out when they go to the bathroom or band or chorus or the nurse or the office, any place like that. Just so in the case of an emergency, I would know where they are and I could quickly grab this as I go out the door to make sure I have all of my students. This sign up sheet actually one of my team teachers made. I'm gonna work on making my own, but right now that is not a priority whatsoever. I have a huge thing of hand sanitizer because goodness knows kids are germy. And then I have a thing of tissues. Next I'm gonna come up here because I have these beautiful book bins that I got from Really Good Stuff. I use them in second grade for my student book bins. However, I do not have a purpose for them now. So honestly, this sounds horrible, but they are just sitting on top of these cabinets to make it look colorful and to make it look pretty. Feel free to judge me. Now I will go across the countertop. So this is just a basic file box and I labeled it with this label graded papers. This label is the same as my Sterilite drawer labels. I'll show you guys those over by my desk, but this is 
is just the black one and I use the font um, Futura Condensed Medium. So this is where my graded papers will go. These are aqua blue file folders I got off of Amazon. I still need to label them with student names or numbers. I haven't decided how I'm going to label them yet. It probably would be smarter to do numbers, but because I have so many different kids, I don't know. My students don't really know numbers right now because they go to different homeroom teachers. So I don't know. I will figure it out. But this is how I'm doing graded papers rather than the big mailboxes that I had from Storex in my second grade classroom. If you saw my classroom tour last year, this is just a little bit different of a system. So I'm going to try it and see how I like it. Then we come over here to these clipboard organizers. I absolutely love these because I feel like clipboards are really hard to store like efficiently, but these work really, really well. They are supposed to hold 12 each, but sometimes you can fit some extra ones in there. You can get it up to like 14 or 15. Now these came from really good stuff and I will warn you, they are kind of pricey. They're like $40 each. So for two of them, that's $80. And I am totally aware that that's a lot of money. This was a splurge that I did last summer for my classroom. They come wood and then the metal pieces are blue. I spray painted mine black just to keep it consistent. You'll notice they are empty because I currently do not have clipboards. Um, the old clipboards I had belonged to my school and I had to leave them behind and I have yet to get new ones. So that is on my list of things to get. Next we come to these, I think they're called like magazine bins or something like that. These bins come from Big Lots. They usually only have them during like back to school time. I think they're supposed to be for college, but I love these bins. I have so many of them. You're going to see them all across my classroom. This blue one I got last year and this green one actually I've had for a couple years. I haven't seen this color in a while. They're about $3. And like I said, they're from Big Lots. Now these little labels that are on them, papers to go home and then Wednesday folders, those are not in my TBT store yet, but I promise they will be coming. I'm going to put out just like an assorted label. So they come in tons of different sizes so you can use it for things like this. So anytime like I get papers from my mailbox that have to go home, I just put them in this bin. So at the end of the day, I always make sure that I check it so that if there are any papers that need to go home, I make sure they go home. I feel like when I put papers on my desk, they tend to get lost pretty easily. So I like to have them all in one place that I can easily check. And then Wednesday folders are how our entire grade level is sending home graded work. So our students each have a black folder except for my one friend who has a purple folder. Um, so what we will do is on like like, I don't know, Wednesday afternoon, probably during deer time. One of my student jobs is my mailman. They will take the graded papers, put them into the Wednesday folders. My students will take it home, get it signed so that I know that the papers actually made it home, bring it back in and turn it back into this bin. Then we just have the basic sink area. So we have this built in like paper towel holder. I do have an air freshener up there. Currently, I do not have any air freshener in it. I am waiting to get approval from all of the parents before I actually use air fresheners because I always have people tell me, you know, Miss Ray or Michelle, you know, you shouldn't do that. That. students are allergic. Yes, I know. I always get approval. Trust me. I do have hand sanitizer out and tissues and soap. We actually do have to provide our own soap, which is something new to me. But my sink is always really clean. I love the custodians here. They keep everything super spotless. We do have a water fountain in our room. This is another one of those magazine bins from Big Lots that cost $3. No idea why this is here. It just kind of got put there and I haven't moved it. So I don't know what that's going to be used for. Back here, I have this little sign. Today is a great day to learn something new. I got this from the Target spot a year or two ago I believe it was one dollar same thing with this little black like glass jar I got that from the Target dollar spot it was one dollar and inside I just have a thing of flowers from Dollar Tree and while I'm over here I'll go ahead and show you under the sink so I have these really ugly green containers that you can see back there that had math manipulatives in them and I was not about to have those in my classroom because they were hideous to me and I'm super OCD and I have to have all of my stuff match so I strategically just kind of shoved them under the cabinet <laughs> feel free to judge me this little black container is from Target Target. This is holding like extra bags and extra tissues and things like that. And then this is a little fold up stool that I got from Target. I had this for second grade because most of my students couldn't reach the water fountain. Not really a problem in fourth grade, but I just keep it here in case I need to reach something in the cabinets. So now I'm going to go across these cabinets and then I will come down to these cabinets. I am fully aware that I am super fortunate to have all of this storage. Trust me, I count my blessings on a daily basis. So in this first cabinet, ah, I can hear the hallelujah chorus. It is just so beautiful to me. So these are Sterilite lock top boxes. I get these from Amazon. You can also find them not very many places, at least in this blue color. Target does carry green, but if you want this aqua, I think it's called aqua marine. If you want this blue color, you need to get them either from Amazon or from, I think Big Lots has them and Family Dollar. Those are about the only places I can find them. So this is the medium size bin. This is the small size bin. And then I'll show you in the other cabinet what the mini bin looks like. These 
These medium size bins usually cost about $350 if you can get them for pretty cheap. The small bins usually like $250 and then the mini bins that I'll show you are usually about a dollar. Now these labels are not in my store yet. I do have labels that are this size but they're black with like different colored washi tape clip art. I will link those for you down below if you're interested in those. These ones will be out soon. I promise I'm working on it. I will have them in different colors along with black and white but I just love having all of my stuff labeled so that I can easily find it when I need it and I just love opening this cabinet and seeing them all there. And just so you can get a close up, I have small stamps, dry erase markers, dry erase markers, binder clips, sticky notes, index cards, Velcro dots, liquid glue, tape rolls, hole punches, cap erasers, big erasers, extra scissors, sharpies, plain pencils, decorative pencils, permanent markers, regular markers, thin markers, highlighters, crayon boxes, crayon boxes, hot glue, glue sticks, and glue sticks. No idea why I said it like that. Now I'll come to the second cabinet again, hallelujah chorus, because it looks beautiful with all my bins except for those three that are not labeled. Don't judge me, it's bothering me, trust me, they will be labeled soon. So I mentioned the mini bins. These are the mini bins. You can usually find them for like a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty, but I typically bought them for a dollar at like family dollar. Now this cabinet has a lot more like craft kind of supplies, so I'll just go through it again. Feathers, pom-pom balls, cotton balls, buttons, craft sticks, which are like popsicle sticks, clothespins, beads, yarn rolls, yarn rolls, brushes, paint bottles, paint bottles. These are currently holding envelopes because I have a ton of envelopes. I will make labels for them, but I just didn't have time. Um, assorted punches, extra, extra paper clips, sharpeners, glitter, ribbon spools, bells, gems, sequins, shells, and wiggly eyes, extra book rings, batteries, extra magnets, extra rubber bands, balloons, command strips, adhesives, labels, letters, and washi tape. Next cabinet. This one actually makes me pretty happy as well. So these are larger Sterilite containers, but they're the same lock top bin. So they have like that blue locking piece on the side. So these ones that you see up here, these are the large bins. You can get these in a six pack on Amazon. That's how I buy mine. And then these are the deep bins. So these are where I carry a lot of extra supplies. So I have like paper folders, plastic folders, file folders, hanging file folders, spiral notebooks, composition books, page protectors, lamination, decorative paper, posters, like posters that came with my classroom that I don't want to display because they're kind of ugly, old read aloud books that I did with my second grade class, and sets of like literature circle books that I also did with my second grade class. And then this cabinet above the sink is where I put a lot of extra like cleaning type supplies, hand sanitizer, tissues. Up here is my Tetris wall of tissues. I literally have it packed in there as tight as possible. This has all hand sanitizer and dish soap. This black container came from Big Lots. They were $3.50. You can again find them during back to school time, just like those magazine files that I showed you. Then I have extra Clorox wipes, and then these are all extra like Ziploc baggies, and that's that same black container. And then this is a feather duster, and it's hanging on a command strip. Next, I'll come into the cabinets down here. So this is a lot of books. So, um, and dry, dry erase sleeves, not that those really belong, but these are iris scrapbooking containers. You can find these online on Amazon. You can also find them at Michael's. I do not buy them from Michael's unless they are on sale for three for ten. I do not pay more for them than that. I only buy them on sale regularly. They're like ten dollars and I would never pay that for one. That's insane. So I use these to hold a lot of like read aloud books. So and dry erase leaves. I have like holiday read aloud books, holiday read aloud books, beginning of the year type books, science books, and social studies books. These were all books that I used in my second grade class. Not gonna need it now that I'm teaching math, science, and social studies. I may use some of the science or social studies books, but probably not many of them. Down here is all interactive read aloud books. These go with our county curriculum. Even though we are departmentalized and I do not teach reading, I still have to store a set in my classroom. So I just have them down here. These bins, I have no idea where they came from because they were provided by the county along with the labels. All right, next cabinet. This is where a lot of extra student supplies are. So my students all had to bring in two packs of lined paper. All the teachers collected all of them and we have them stored in these bins. We will take them out as needed. And then whatever's left at the end of the year, we can divvy up and give back to them. Down here, these are all extra composition books and I had some extra like pencil cases that I just threw in there. And this entire container is filled with pencils. I'm so excited. <laughs> so again, these are all supplies that the students brought in. We do community supplies, like our students take what they need and the rest goes to us and we just divvy it out as needed. There are different opinions on community supplies. If I want my classroom to be a family, I don't have a problem with my students sharing supplies. It hasn't really been a problem with parents either. 
These are the extra lids for these three containers since they go up higher than the bin. I couldn't put the lid on them. These containers I got from Target, but these are just like Sterilite containers. I don't remember the exact size, but I will try to link them for you down below. Last cabinet over here. These are more of those iris scrap looking containers, and these are just a lot of extra supplies that I have. So I have like some stem supplies, just random stuff that I have, cardboard pieces, extra bags, like extra Ziploc bags. I have a lot of Ziploc bags, you guys. Foil and pipe cleaners, cardboard tubes, Miss Frey's Legos, and then some Lego flats. The Legos I got off of Amazon, they are off-brand Legos. They are not Lego brand, but they were much, much cheaper. And then the Lego flats, same thing, not Lego brand, but they are much cheaper. This container I got from the container store. And these labels are the same labels that I showed you up here on these bins. They are not in my TPT store yet, but stay tuned. They will be in there soon, I promise. And then down here, I have two more of those big Sterlite containers containing extra supplies. This one has highlighters and dry erase markers. And this one is filled with post-it notes, which is like a teacher's dream. Now we will actually share all of the teachers together. So like the reading teachers, they use most of the post-its. So whenever they need post-its, we'll just come get them out of here. Now I am over at these three big closets, which is insane to me. In my old classroom, I only had one of these and it had to store a lot of stuff like from the school. So I didn't have a lot of room in it. I was in heaven when I saw that I I had three of them. So I'll start with the posters that are up here. These are quest for quality questioning posters. No idea where they come from. They were provided by my county and they have to be up. But I put them up on here and I was like, eh, they're kind of ugly. So I just added white bordette around it. You can get bordette off of Amazon. It's pretty cheap. It comes in like a really big roll. I just hot glued it onto the cabinet. I tested first to make sure that the hot glue was going to be okay. It came off perfectly fine. So I hot glued them to ensure that they will stay up all year. And then for this little Little, like I don't know title thing if you want to call it that the only reason I have it there is because there were 11 posters and it was driving me nuts that I had this blank space so I just decided to cut out letters with my Cricut so I printed them or actually I didn't print them um these I printed on cardstock laminated and cut out by hand these I got smarter and realized you could do it with your Cricut so I just laminated plain white con not construction paper cardstock laminated it and then used my Cricut to cut out the rest of the letters and I just attached those with clear transparent tape I will start with this first cabinet this is where a lot of my indoor recess materials are so down here this is a laundry basket that I got from Target it has a bunch of like fake food like felt food it has fake utensils it has a tablecloth my students love to play restaurant my second graders loved it my fourth graders loved it and I love seeing them be imaginative so a lot of the fake food I got from home goods like in their toy section and I've just collected stuff over time I store it in this big like bin I also have plastic bowling pieces in there because my students saw the them in one of my containers and I wasn't using them. So I was like, sure, I guess you guys can have them for recess. Now this little cart holds those same scrapbooking containers by Iris, but it actually comes with a set of six and the cart. I highly recommend it. It's only like, I don't know, $35, which for all of those containers and the cart is absolutely amazing. I decided to use this to store recess materials because I hate indoor recess materials being like all just on top of each other in a hot mess. I like them to be very organized. And again, these labels are the exact same labels that you've seen on all of those other stair, not Sterilite, Iris scrapbooking containers. Y'all, it's Friday after the first week of school. I am very tired. So this first one has like trouble games and I have the game boards in here and then the pieces are stored in these little snack containers that I got from Dollar Tree. You can get them either two or three for a dollar and then I have the directions in there and the directions are laminated. Then I have Battleship games. Actually, one of my team teachers had this. She didn't want it. So I was like, sure, I'll take them. Then I have some Guess Who games. Actually, these are like rip off Guess Who games that I got from. Um, Target, they're called Who's Left, but they were only a couple dollars. Again, laminated directions. Pieces are stored in these snack containers from Dollar Tree. Then I have recess Legos. These all came from the Target dollar spot. I think they were like $3 for a bag. Several bags in here. I got these because they're cheaper and that's why I let my students use them for recess, but my boys especially love using Legos. Then I have Jenga blocks. Actually, I got these from Goodwill for only a couple dollars and sometimes they play Jenga, sometimes they just build with them. And then I have Lincoln Walk that again I got from Goodwill. Now this right here is just a game board that was too big to fit in one of these containers so I just slid it between the cart and the wall and most of my games are up here in these two containers. Now this Engineering Ants I actually got that again from Goodwill but I have not even opened it so I haven't let my students use it yet. This one oh sorry I just hit a chair. This one has assorted games so let me try to pull it out for you guys. I have like shoots and ladders. I have like sorry in there and again all the pieces are organized into these plastic snack containers that come from Dollar Tree. I love these containers. I use them from 
for absolutely everything. They can store an entire deck of cards perfectly. They also can store an entire 24 pack of crayons perfectly. So I highly recommend them if you come across them at Dollar Tree. And then this one down here is like, oh, sorry, I'm shaking. Connect Four and some card games. And they're pretty much stored the same way. Um, some of the bigger like card games are in, these are sandwich containers, but they're the same style from Dollar Tree. They're only a dollar. And then over here, I just have look and find books that my students are welcome to use. And then these are little felt pieces that I got from Target dollar spot they were three dollars and it just has like felt tracks and cars and stuff like that then I have these larger Sterilite containers again same exact label <laughs> these are like the Loctite ones so they're technically waterproof and I just use these to hold a whole bunch of extra supplies that I have so this one has like extra containers it's literally a container of containers this one has extra consumables so things like plastic forks plastic knives bags um, napkins, cups, all that kind of stuff is in here. This one has extra decor material, so extra bordette. That's like the white stuff that I showed you around the posters on these cabinets. That's just some extra blue and some extra pink, some extra felt, stuff like that. Down here, these are what I call like fun material. So I have an inflatable bowling set. I have inflatable dice. I have like these bingo daubers that I just use for a whole bunch of different things. This is just random stuff, you guys. These are like blank books that I got from Target Dollar Spot and haven't used, um, like sentence strips. I don't know just a bunch of random stuff. And then this is mostly science materials. I have things like extra cotton balls, shaving cream, vinegar, flour, just random stuff I use for experiments. Now I kind of don't even want to show you up here. You'll see I have extra shelves just kind of hanging there. I have shelves, but I do not have any more of these plastic pieces. So that's why they're hanging out. I ideally would love to put another shelf up there, but right now I can't. So it's just holding like some extra caddies. This is my treasure box, which honestly, I don't think I'm going to keep. I kind of want to get away from a treasure box and like purchased prizes for students. I like to give them things that you don't have to spend money on. So things like stinky feet and lunch bunch. These are some extra of those like Sterilite lock top containers. These are the old labels that I had on them. Those are the black and washi labels, which are in my TPT store now if you want them. But right now I just don't have a need for those containers. And then these are like extra used markers, extra used crayons and extra used dry erase erasers. All right, this cabinet is my favorite. This is where all of my math manipulatives are. Look how pretty pretty you guys. Okay, first of all, up there I'm missing one because the second grade teacher across the hall borrowed some of my counter. So she has those right now. Um, I have number tiles and these are those same black bins that you get from Big Lots. They cost $3.50 during back to school time. Highly recommend them. They are very thick plastic. Now these, let me grab one, hold on. So these were math manipulatives that were provided. Like when I came into my classroom, these were in here. They're literally just tiles that have numbers on them and I'm storing them in these little containers from Dollar Tree. You can get these 10 for a dollar. They have them in both square and circles. This one up here is holding dice, nothing too fancy about that. This one is holding dominoes and you'll see they're literally just thrown in there. This one is holding all of my hundred blocks and this is holding base 10 blocks. So a bunch of like tens and ones, basically the extra ones because I have the other ones organized a different way. These are all of my geo boards and they're just stacked in there. And then the rubber bands, these are old crystal light containers. <laughs> and I just take off the label and I store rubber bands in there. Then I have pattern blocks. Some people call them tangrams. Same thing over here, protractors and rulers, nothing fancy about that, but these I'm really excited for. So we had a ton of fraction towers and actually they have fractions, they have decimals, they have like, I don't know, a whole bunch of different like representations on the side and they were all in these hot mess baggies and I hate, hate, hate storing math manipulatives in plastic baggies because they do not last and the students are rough on them and they rip and they tear and I'm not about that life. So here's the solution. These are sandwich containers from Dollar Tree. They cost one dollar. I have been traveling to all of the Dollar Trees around me and taking all of them. You'll see I still need to get more. I need to get about seven more. The rest of them are in baggies stored away for right now because I don't want to look at them. But these fraction towers fit perfectly. So if you teach upper elementary and you have fraction towers just like this, I highly recommend you try these containers. Originally, I wanted to get all the same color and I was like, Michelle, you cannot be that picky. So I just have assorted colors. Whatever colors I'm finding, I am grabbing. Then down here, a little bit less exciting. This is a big like Sterilite container holding all of the ugly math manipulatives that didn't really go with anything else like big gallon containers and like quart measurements and pint measurements and stuff like that and then these are calculators and just a warning this closet is like my hot mess closet I think every teacher is entitled to one 
This one does laugh. So over here, I want to get into the habit of storing like my jackets in here. I'm also gonna keep a pair of boots in here because we have to go out to dismissal and we have to stay outside until our last student is dismissed. And even if it's rainy, we have to be out there. So I did invest in rain boots. I'm gonna keep those in here. This is my little photo prop sign that I had for meet the teacher night. I just stored it in here so I can use it again next year. These are just containers that I had gotten from Dollar Tree. I used to use them as like table trash cans, but right now I'm using them to hold like meter sticks and yard sticks. And I am using some of my hangers to hold bulletin board borders. So here's how I did it. I clipped them all together with a binder clip. And then one of them had like the little hole up here and I just strung it over top of the hanger and it works. And then here I have like a tote bag. If I have extra stuff to carry home, I can just grab this tote bag to carry it home. And this was, I think like $1 from the Target dollar spot. These are extra math manipulatives. This just happened to fit perfectly right there. So that's where I've put it. I honestly haven't even looked through the container. Up here is a lot of like holiday stuff. So I have like plastic eggs, cauldrons, a whole bunch of random stuff. So I just kind of shoved it back there. This also is holiday stuff. Now these labels are not the same as those other ones I've been showing you. These ones are a little bit bigger, but this will be included in that like assorted label pack that I'm putting together for TPT. I have them organized by months and it's just kind of some decor stuff. So I have like October is Halloween stuff. November is Thanksgiving stuff. December is Christmas stuff. February is Valentine's Day stuff. March is St. Patrick's Day stuff. And April is Easter stuff. And then these are some random activities. So like the basketball stuff I usually use in March for March Madness for some math activities. Then I have four, kind of embarrassing. I have four of these packs of containers. These come from Michael's and they're just like assorted little photo boxes. I have one set of clear and three sets of colored. I plan to use them to store task cards. Notice I said plan because right now they are not holding task cards. The clear ones do have task cards that I used in second grade, but these three colored ones are empty. Don't judge me. I got them on sale. This is some random stuff. This box up here is filled with like memory items. So stuff students have given me cards, notes, stuff like that. I love to pull that out if I'm having a bad day. And then these items right here are what I use for like a class picnic. It's like a math and reading day that I do. And I just stored those in here for now. This shelf has a bunch of like boxes of technology type stuff that I have to keep in the classroom, except for this one right here, the one that says made in the USA. That actually is a like drawer thing that I ordered that I'm not gonna end up using, but I'm kind of too lazy to send it back. So I'm just holding it on until I end up using it for something. Down here, this container has a lot of dress up stuff. I used it a lot in second grade because I always took on like character roles for lessons and I like to have props but I'm gonna hold on to it because who says you can't do that for fourth grade too now these drawers are a hot mess like I said this is my hot mess cabinet um this kind of has a bunch of stuff these little like suitcase type things came from Michael's I think they were like two or three dollars they're just holding extra like note cards extra adhesive pockets stuff like that this was decor I had up in my second grade room that I'm not using same thing with this these are birthday certificates, but there's only like 18 in here. Oh no, 24. And I have way more than that for students. This bag has a bunch of old like decor stuff that I used um, and some old like math games that I'm not using anymore. And this is a big CD case. This is actually how I store bulletin board letters. And then this one down here has a whole bunch of other holiday stuff and extra note cards, especially for Halloween. I have way more stuff than what can fit in this container. So I kind of just ended up throwing it in here. That way I can close it and forget about it. Next we come to my first whiteboard and I decided to use this as a number talk board. So I'm going to be completing number talks on a daily basis with my students and I wanted a space to do that. So first of all, this fan I got off of Amazon. I actually gave this to Billy as a Christmas gift a couple years ago, but my room is really hot. Like I have air conditioning kind of, but it puts out air. It doesn't actually put out like coldness. So I have this fan going all day every day because it's super, super hot in here. This is an extra large Expo eraser. I got this off of Amazon. Highly recommend it because it makes erasing so much easier. This black and white polka dot border is actually a magnetic border. You can get this off of Amazon as well. Now these signs I made, they are not in my TPT store yet. If you guys want them, I can put them in there. These are the hand signals that you use for number talks. So just a closed fist in front of you means I'm thinking of a solution. You put up your thumb when you have one solution and one strategy, then you add a finger for every additional strategy you come up with and when you agree with someone you use the I agree sign which is pinky and a thumb and you kind of rock it back and forth like sign language. These letters up here I just printed cut out and put magnets on the back. This font is AG sorry not sorry that comes from Amy Grossbeck and then over here my sentence starters again I made these they're not in my store but I can put them in there if you guys want and again I printed them out and put magnets on them so sentence starters. The strategy I used was 
I agree with blank because I see it a different way because that answer makes sense because can you explain how and so I hear you saying that. Up here I have growth mindset posters. I got these off of TPT. I can link them for you. I just thought that they were beautiful. I printed them out. I glued them onto Astro Bright's cardstock and laminated them and they are hanging up there with sticky clips which you can get off of Amazon. And then I am fortunate enough to have a smart board. I know not everyone does. Trust me, I count my blessings every single day. These little fairy lights around them came from Amazon. I think they're like 13 feet long. I just connected them. Let me see where one is. Right there with these little, hold on, these little command hooks. Um, they're super, super tiny. I will link them for you down below, but I just put like three on each side. So I have like one in the middle, one at the bottom, one at the top, and I just kind of strung the lights around. I love these lights because you can actually put them on a timer and there's like eight different settings that you can use. And everyone who comes in my room is like, oh, I love those. So I highly recommend you get these. It's like 13 or 14 dollars. I think it's totally worth it. The batteries last for 120 hours and I love that they're battery operated so that I do not have to have them plugged in. And while I'm here, I do have this beautiful new rug that I got from Wayfair this summer. It was probably around $100, I want to say. It's a five by seven size, but I will link it for you in the description. Then next to my smart board, I have these three little hanging jars. These each came from Target. They were only a dollar and they are hanging on command hooks. So the reason I have three, one is for my homeroom, one is for my block one, and one is for my block two. These are equity sticks. So basically they're gonna have the kids' names on them and I use them to make sure that I'm calling on different students and not always calling on the students that just raise their hand. Now I did something different this year. So I have color coded my classes. So my homeroom class, I'm going with like the color orange. For my block one, it's pink. And then for my block two, it is blue. So I painted half the stick that color. So what I will do is you'll notice like right now, all the pink ones are standing up. After I call on a student, I will flip it over and then I know that that student has been called on and I need to pick one of the pink sticks. Then I'll come down here while I'm over here. First of all, this vase I think I got from Walmart. It was only a couple of dollars. These hands I got from the Target dollar spot. They were only a dollar each. So of course I got one in every color. And then I do have fly swatters because I like to do games where I have students in teams and they have to come up and like the first person to swat the right answer wins. But they just come in handy, especially if you have flies. Then we come to my other whiteboard and this is kind of like my main board. Like it has it all going on. First of all, I have my schedule cards. I did make these. They are not in my TP2 store yet. I promise you guys they are coming. I've just had a lot on my plate right now. So I just printed these out on cardstock, laminated them, put magnets on the back. And this year I decided to have the times just to help keep me on track and my students on track, especially because they can actually tell time, unlike my second graders. And then my cultural arts, so like music, PE, art, all that good stuff. Um, I just changed those out every day because the rest of the schedule pretty much stays the same. And I store those extra cards in this. This is a magnetic pocket. I got this off of Amazon and I just store the extra cards in there and get them out as I need them. Then I have my I can statements. So our school does require us to post I can statements for each subject. So I'm teaching math, science, and social studies. Those labels, the ones that say math, science, and social studies, those are actually my sterilized drawer labels, which you guys can see over here. Those are my TPT store. I will link those for you in the description box. Um, I just printed them out, laminated them, put magnets on the back and use them as titles. I am going to have all of my I can statements in page protectors and I'm going to have each unit together on these book rings so I can just flip it over each day. So these little magnetic hooks came from Amazon. I love that they're super strong. Like I'm pulling on it right now and it's not going anywhere. A lot of magnets are really weak and they slide, but these ones hold up to like 40 pounds. Now they're a little bit more expensive, but I totally think it is worth it. Then up here, I have the date displayed. One thing I absolutely hate is writing the date on the board every day. I know that sounds stupid, but I just hate it. So I wanted to come up with a system so I didn't have to do that. So I actually typed up all of the months, all of the days, and then I have the years through like, I don't know, 2020, I think. And those again are just hanging on little magnetic hooks. So at the end of the day, I can literally just like take this off and flip it to the next one. And it's like super, super easy. Then this inquire poster, this is provided by our county. This is something that we do countywide. This little strawberry thing is a timer. Uh, my team teacher, Robin, actually got me this from a Japanese store in DC or no, I think it came from like California or something. Then this little white magnetic holder, this came from Target. I got it a couple years ago, but I did see them there this year. This remote is actually the remote for those fairy lights that I showed you on my smart board. I just keep it in here. This is a wireless presenter. If you use PowerPoints, like even a little bit in your classroom, I highly recommend you get one of these. It's only like 
I don't know, 15, $20, like they're pretty cheap. And all you do is you plug in the little USB thing, which I'll show you on my computer and you're good to go. Like you're able to click through your PowerPoint. It also has a laser pointer. I don't know if you can see, where is it? Yeah, there you go. It has a laser pointer, which I just find to come in handy. I can like use it to point at stuff really, really easily. I love this thing. Like this was an investment for this school year and I'm seriously in love with it. Like how did I ever survive without this thing? And then this is a little magnetic basket. I got this a really long time ago. I honestly have no idea where I got it from, but it just holds my extra magnets. Then I have this little bookshelf, which is provided by my school. So up top, I have my turn in bins. I have my turn in bin for block one and my turn in bin for block two, along with this little sign to remind them to highlight their name because they have to highlight it based on their homeroom class so that we can hand out graded papers really easily. This is just like a four by six sign and it's a little plastic sign that I got from Dollar Tree. I absolutely love it. I am also going to get a little bucket to go there with some extra highlighters for them. These little black containers I got from Big Lots. They were only a couple of dollars. These two are empty because I like to have space in my classroom to grow into. So like space that I haven't used for anything yet. So when something does come up, I have a place to put it. This one is holding clicker cards and then this one is holding some management tools. So I have, I call these smart beads. They're just like little beads that you can get from the dollar store. I have these little signs from the dollar store that I'll put on student desks when they're working. I have sand timers. I have my brain sprinkles. This is just a container with glitter and I sprinkle it on the kid's head, but I have a piece of tape on it. So only a couple pieces come out at a time, but I always give that to my students before tests. And then these are student grouping pencils. These are used to put students into groups without them knowing how you're going to group them so you can prevent them from trying to get with their friends. These came off of Amazon and I've labeled this one, but I have not labeled the others because I'm not really sure what I'm going to use them for yet. These again are those Sterilite large containers. I'm going to put graph paper in this one and writing paper in this one. Then down here, these are those same magazine holders from Big Lots. They cost $3 each. I got these ones last year. They had this pretty blue color. I'm going to use these to store my I can statements. So right here, I will have the I can statements for math themes one through two, math themes three through four, science, and then social studies. Then I have this rainbow cart. You can get this tons of places. You can get it on Amazon or you can get it from Michaels. And again, these labels will be in my store soon. I use this to hold like extra, extra copies, not like my weekly copies, but copies I make like really far in advance. So homework copies, papers for my homeroom, my math exploratory copies. That's my block one, my math single subject copies. That's my block two, science, which I teach to both blocks, social studies, which I teach to both blocks, any copies of assessments that I'm going to use, conference forms, office referrals, and then problem solving sheets. Those are actually provided by my school. On top, I do have five iPads. I got these from Donors Choose, and I was fortunate enough to be able to bring them with me. This is a charging docking station. I got this off of Amazon, and these little like cables I got off of Amazon as well. They're only like six inches long. I hate really long charging cables, and the cases came off of Amazon as well. They're like kid-friendly cases, so even if they drop them, the iPads are okay. I've used these cases for like two years now, two and a half years, and they've been perfectly fine. Then I just have a little bit of decoration because who doesn't like decoration? First of all, let me show you guys. So these are my lights. They're actually motion sensor. And what I love about this classroom is not only are there light switches over by the door, but there also are light switches here by my desk. So when I'm like trying to present something on the smart board and I need to turn off the lights, they're right here. It's amazing. These flowers I've had for a long time. I want to say I got them from Walmart. Obviously they are fake. This little vase I got from the dollar store along with these little pebbles. This ceramic apple I got from the Target dollar spot. And this is a wax warmer. Again, I do get permission from my students' parents, but right now I have like a coffee cake one in there. I have not turned it on yet, only when I'm in here by myself. This little paper basket I got from Dollar Tree. I just kind of use these for like any loose papers I have rather than like sitting them on my desk. I put them in a basket so they actually have a place. Now I'll show you, I have these little lights hanging. Now I'll be honest, they run on batteries and they're not very bright at all. So I don't even turn them on. I just have them hanging for decoration and they're hanging by those same little command hooks that I hang the fairy, fairy lights on by my smart board. And I got those from Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. I think they were like three dollars. Now behind it I have this bulletin board. It actually was a navy blue color and I was like uh, -uh that does not match. So I just put up felt and then I uh, I didn't staple because you can't staple into like a bulletin board but or not a bulletin board. It was like a um, pegboard. I don't know. I don't know what, it, what to call it but you couldn't staple into it. So I actually just have it held up by little push pins and for now it's working. I don't even know if I'm going to display anything on here. I just kind of sorry my camera's having focusing issues. I just wanted it to look a little bit prettier and more well put together. Then I have all of my beautiful stair light drawers. I love these things to death. I got these from several different places like Target and Walmart, Amazon, all kinds of places you can 
can find these. Most of the time they're only white. The black ones are really hard to come by. These labels are editable and in my TPT store they're my Sterilite drawer labels. Now this font, if you want the exact same font, it actually is a paid font but I have pre-made labels. Like all of the labels you see here are actually pre-made but if you wanted to edit your own you either have to use your own font or you would have to buy this font to have the exact same one. But this is where I store weekly copies. So I have Monday through Friday and then extra papers, papers to grade, copy, and file. And then I have Scholastic from when I taught second grade. I'm going to have to change that one out. But then I have things to laminate and things for classroom volunteers. This little flower vase I got from Walmart. I think it was only a couple dollars, but it's black and white stripe. And anyone who knows me knows that I love things that are black and white striped. This little sloth doll, if you guys don't know me, my favorite animal is a sloth. I actually got this from Florida when I was at the TPT conference two years ago. And I got it with my friend Chelsea. So I tell my kids his name is Sid the Sloth and he just kind of sits here. And then this Sterlite drawer system has like a little organizer on top. So I keep extra, uh, oh my gosh, you guys, paper clips. And then I have a stamper that I use to stamp student agendas and then a couple extra binder clips. And I'll go ahead and show you the top. So these teach letters I got from the Target Dollar Spot this summer. Same thing with the think letters. These containers I got from Walmart. These actually are my old word work bins. I obviously don't need them anymore, but I don't feel like taking them home. So I just have them sitting up there because they kind of look pretty. Now I have these two open areas. So these little containers came from the dollar store, Dollar Tree. I actually don't, ugh, do not have anything in them right now. They're empty, but they look good. <laughs> then I have my teacher toolbox. So this toolbox originally was gray. I spray painted it black. I got the toolbox from Lowe's, but you can also get them on Amazon. I will link the one from Amazon down below. These labels are my TPT store and they do come in all the different colors along with black and white. And again, I do have pre-made labels, but they're also editable if you want to create your own. If you don't have a teacher toolbox in your classroom, I highly recommend you make one. It was one of the best choices I ever made. Now I'll show you in my cabinets. These are some other iris containers from Amazon. They're kind of expensive. I only get them when they go on sale, but these are holding all of my colored construction paper. And then these are holding like DVDs. So like books on tape and just random like movies, like Charlie Brown stuff that I use around the holiday times. These containers came from Ikea. And then in this one, these are all curriculum books provided by my county. So those are just stored in there. And then these are a lot of my curriculum binders that I have for myself. These two binders were already in the classroom when I got here, but I have school information, parent communication, substitute binder, homeroom student data, block one student data, block two student data, and then just a general math, science, and social studies binder. I am working on getting editable binder covers and binder spines in my TPT store, but again, they are coming. Then I have two more of those paper containers from Dollar Tree. Not really sure what they're going to be used for, but they look good. Um, then I have some of those book bins that I have storing like up there above the cabinet. I stole one of each color and put them down here to hold materials. So CES, that's our school abbreviation. Those are just like my my um, office folder, my money folder, stuff like that goes in there. And then I have math books that I use pretty often, science books that I use often, and social studies books that I use often. This container came from the container store and this has my candy. These are the same black containers that were over here on the bookshelf. Those again came from Big Lots. They were only a couple of dollars. This one has mints, which I like to give my students when they work on a test. And then this one just has like, I don't know, extra random stuff. Like these are those little agenda markers. These are the mini Sterilite drawers and again, these labels are in my TPT store. They are editable, just like all of these Sterlite drawer labels. So this one actually is holding all of my extra pieces for my letter board. So this one has words and phrases. This one has all of the months. And then this one has all of the assorted letters. Then I have these paper trays, which came from Walmart, and they're holding all of my Astro Bright's paper. Now we are at my actual desk area. All of this is built in around my desk, which is so nice. I cannot even lie, you guys. These ABC letters came from the Target dollar spot. They are just hanging on the wall with command hooks. In the corner, I have my Keurig and this holds the little Keurig pods. I have a water bottle from Teachers Pay Teachers, my phone. This little bin right here is just holding random stuff. These were all pencils that were left on the floor today. This is my projector remote and I have like hand sanitizer. And this is a little stamper that we use for our school-wide like incentive program. Then I have another one of the mini Sterilite drawers. Again, these are my editable labels in my TPT store. So I have nurse notes, cup kudos, which is our school-wide like incentive program, and then stickers for when I'm grading. And this little blue lamp was only $5 at Ikea, best purchase ever. Then I have a whole 
puncher, tape dispenser, and stapler. This black and white striped container came from Target. It was like seven or eight dollars and it's holding all of my beautiful color-coded pens. This little clear container I think I got at Dollar Tree and it's just holding like scissors, staple remover, wide out hole puncher, stuff like that. This black container I have no idea where it came from but it is holding like markers and colored pencils, things that I would use for like anchor charts. This gold container I got from the Target dollar spot and it's holding post-it notes. Then I just have my lesson planning binder sitting here. This is in my TPT store. I highly recommend you check it out because I've had a lot of people say like no other planners worked for them except for mine and it's super super editable and it's just super versatile like you can use it for a lot of different things. So if you're looking for a lesson planning binder now I still need to clean mine out from last year but this is just kind of what it looks like. Um, I do have a video about it on my channel. Um, I do have a coaster here actually one of my old team teachers got this for me and I just keep it by my desk. This little thing I got from Hobby Lobby and I use it to hold like whatever sticky note I have like at the moment. Um, this is a card one of my sweet babies gave me today saying like thanks for having a great week. Reese's cup was given to me by a student today. Hallelujah. I do have a desktop computer, this mouse pad. I want to say I got from the Target dollar spot as well. This is a small microphone that I can actually use because I have speakers up in my ceiling. That's not a speaker. I don't know what that is. That's a speaker over there and that's a speaker. Um, so that's super, super nice. And then I have my document camera. This right here is a clip on cup holder that I got from Amazon and it's literally the most amazing thing because you know your drinks always like leak and I hate when it's on my desk so it clips right here and I don't have to worry about it. Now I'll come back over here this top drawer just has little baskets that I got from Dollar Tree and it's holding like extra extra markers and pens that do not fit in that current caddy and then the second drawer is kind of like my me drawer this has a bunch of like hygiene stuff just like lotion perfume deodorant stuff like that. Um, these are extra books that I give to students as incentives extension cord and some tools and then down here this is like a file thing so I'm actually not gonna open that because it has student names but it's just like a file drawer. Then I have my refrigerator which I'm super excited about because at my old school you had to pay an energy fee to have one every year and I didn't want to do that so I never had a fridge but here you just had to buy the fridge and then you don't have to pay anything so I got this one from Walmart it was only $50 and I'll show you on the inside. It is stocked with like green tea and normally yeah I was gonna say there's like some Coke Zero vanilla in there as well. This is another one of those magnetic pocket. I got them in a three pack from Amazon and this is my easy grater and then sitting on top I have my paper cutter and my scotch laminator. I keep a laminator both at home and at school and then right there is where I put my school bag. Then I have this desk drawer. This little organizer came from Target so I have like my remote for my document camera, some notepads, really large binder clips, some little stamps. My mom is a demonstrator for stamping up so she actually gave these to me a long time ago and she knew I was gonna be a teacher and then I have some gum, hand sanitizer, and chapstick. Actually a student gave this to me this week so that was really nice. A little thing of sticky notes and some more envelopes and then this is actually a bigger microphone that again connects to those speakers up in my ceiling. Then I have another trash can by my desk. Again it's one of the Rubbermaid 10 gallon trash cans and I put binder clips on the side to help hold the trash bag on there because whenever you're throwing away a lot of stuff it tends to fall inside and the binder clips help prevent that. This is another one of those paper bins from Dollar Tree that I got and I just labeled it homeroom turn and bin. Um, this little label is not in my store. I just kind of made it. It's like my Sterilite drawer labels but a little bit thinner. So this is where my homeroom puts any notes that they need to turn into me in the morning. This little guy came from the Target dollar spot. It was a dollar. This is a mailbox I have for any students that want to write me notes. This letter board came from Target and the um, I showed you over here the little Sterilite mini thing that's holding all the letters and stuff. So right now I just have to do be awesome. And then I have some tissues and then these bins also came from Dollar Tree and these little labels again will be in my store so this one is box tops this one is cubby of the week which is like a school wide thing we do and then counselor forms and I just hole punch them and I have them hanging on with book rings then down here I have big sterilite tubs these are holding a lot of my second grade materials that I really don't need so I just kind of put them over here kind of under my desk to help hide them and actually this little drawer system um, right now there's nothing in it and I'm trying to keep it that way if I end up using it for something I will if not I'll end up taking it home I have some more of this magnetic border just around like my air conditioning unit here this sign came from Target for the dollar spot this little caddy came from oh the container store so I'm going to use this for like any materials that I use at small group and that label is the same label that I had over
over here. I have another thing of the Sterilite mini drawers. This one has nurse notes, band-aids, and just small supplies. So I don't like to have to get up from my small group table and go over to my desk to get those materials. So I like to keep them over here for easy access, along with another stapler, another tape dispenser, scissors, and like some markers and things. And I'll go ahead and show you the decorations that are on this window ledge. That sign over there came from Target. And then I have these vases of flowers. Vases are from Dollar Tree. The little pebbles are from Dollar Tree and the flowers are from Dollar Tree. So I just have them spaced periodically. Um, that's a book that we read for Growth Mindset, The Most Magnificent Thing. Check it out if you haven't. It's magnificent. These little candles came from Dollar Tree as well. And I just have them kind of spaced along. This little like fishbowl came from Target or not Target, sorry, Dollar Tree as well, along with the pebbles. I just put that there as extra decoration. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to hurry up. It's like 930 at night and I need to get out of here. Um, so I just have these scattered along the windowsill. And then I have these three containers. I got them at Ikea, but I have no idea what I'm going to use them for. So I just kind of have them there for decoration. You will notice that is a reoccurring theme in my classroom. This container I got from Walmart. This is where my students put library books that they get from the media center. When they are done with them, they will put them here and we'll take them the next time we go to media. So when I got into my classroom, I actually had two tables back here. They were kind of in an L shape, but I had to get rid of them because I did not have enough room with my desk. So I only have one table now. I do keep a little trash can over here. This came from Big Lots. And then I use the stools from Ikea. They're only $5 each and five of them stacked on top of each other fits perfectly under the table so I can store them out of the way. These magnetic pockets come from Storex. They are kind of pricey, but they work really, really well. Like you can put an entire like pack of paper in here and it will hold them. Right now, don't really know what I'm going to use them for. Um, you'll notice they were labeled from my second grade classroom and I need to take the labels off and redo it. This pillow I've had for a really long time. No idea where I got it. This black rug in my library, I actually got from Target during back to school time and it was like $15. And this is after using it for like a year and it still looks perfectly new. Beanbag I got from Big Lots like three years ago. It's super, super flat. I don't think my kids even like it, but whatever, I keep it here. This little chair I got for half price from Target. So it was originally $80, I got it for $40. Now we come to my library, which I'm fortunate enough to have built in little library shelves, which is awesome. So these black bins are those same magazine bins from Big Lots. They were $3 each. I use these to hold mostly my picture books. And then these color bins I got from Dollar Tree and I use these to hold a lot of my chapter books. So up here, these are my library labels. They are my TPT store. I have tons of different options for them. Take a look at it. They are not editable yet, but I do plan on making them editable. But if you email me, I can always fulfill like special requests until I actually make them editable. So the labels up here are just taped on with clear packaging, not clear packaging tape, just like transparent tape. These ones are hole punched and attacked, attacked, attached with book grains. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm really tired right now. Stick with me. I promise I'm getting there. I'm almost done. These are book buddies. These are like stuffed animals my students can read to. Most of these came from Kohl's. They have like the little five dollar stuffed animals and it goes to charity and it's they're just sitting in a bin that I got from Dollar Tree. You guys my brain is dying right now. Then I have my read letters. They do light up but I really don't turn them on very often because the batteries die very very fast but these came from Target. They are metal so they're pretty heavy. First of all no that is not a camera that is my motion sensor for my lights. I actually made my own bulletin board up here because I needed a place to display student work so I didn't put anything on in the background. I just put boardette up and we're not allowed to staple into the wall so I attached it with push pins. I just laminated Astro Bright's paper. I put them up with sticky tack. You can kind of see it through the yellow one. It's like poster putty kind of stuff. I get it off of Amazon. Super super cheap. You can also get it from Walmart and then I will hang up the student work with these sticky clips which I get off of Amazon and for the letters again I just cut those out with my Cricut and they're just like laminated cardstock. These colored drawers come from Michael's. They are very expensive. I did get them on a very good sale. When I taught second grade I used these to store my rooted and reading. Right now, honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to use them for. Possibly early finisher activities. These containers come from Dollar Tree. They are perfect for storing base 10 blocks. You'll see the hundreds fit in the middle, tens on the side, and ones on the side. So I love these. And this is another one of those little $5 lamps from Ikea. Then I have my first actual bulletin board. So first of all, in the background, I use black felt. I buy it by the yard at Walmart. It's super, super cheap. And I've used this felt for a couple years now, and it's still in perfect condition. I I highly, highly recommend using like just solid colored felt for your background border. It lasts forever. These letters, again, cut them with my Cricut. They are laminated cardstock. I like to do a double border. So this black and white stripe border I got off of Amazon and then that is pink bordette. So they both came off of Amazon. 
I recommend hot gluing them together first and then stapling them up just to make sure that it stays consistent. And then these are just dry erase pockets. I'm gonna use this as a focus board. So whatever we are working on in science and social studies, I will put up there and then I still have room at the bottom. I could put more up there as well. And then I do have one computer here and then two more computers over here for my students to use. I have another one of those stair light tubs using stuff from second grade that I do not use anymore. This big black bin came from Big Lots. It was $10. I use it to hold my scoop rockers, which my scoop rockers came from Walmart. They were only like $3 a piece. I have five of them, three pink ones, two blue ones. So this container perfectly holds all five. Then I have some more of those magnetic pockets from Storex. Again, I need to relabel them. This little thing came from Target and actually I got it like two years ago and I didn't know what I was going to use it for, but now I'm going to use it as absent work. So Monday will be pink, Tuesday orange, Wednesday green, Thursday blue, and Friday purple. So my students from my different blocks will have to come check the folders and these are just hanging up there with those same magnetic hooks that I used up front. Then I have my anchor chart display. These are bulletin board letters that I got off of Amazon and I laminated them and just put uh, magnets on the back. And then this silver thing is a magnetic curtain rod. You can get it from Walmart for only a couple of dollars. And I hang up my anchor charts with book rings. That way it's really easy. I can flip. Oh, sorry, I'm hitting a desk again. I can flip to the one I need. This is like a little growth mindset anchor chart that we made this week. This little poster was in like a calendar set that I got a while ago. You'll notice that it matches those letters. Then I have some more of those magnetic pockets from Storex. These are going to hold my extra focus wall posters, which I'll show you that in a minute. And then this one holds scratch paper. So like if I accidentally make the wrong copies of something, I put those in here and my students can use them during indoor recess. And then this is another little built-in bookshelf. So down here, I have extra textbooks. My students do have textbooks in their desk, but I have like way more than I even need. So the extra ones are down here. These containers came from Walmart. I did a bad thing. I think they were all like supposed to be this blue color and I kind of stole the different colors off of different size containers. Um, I don't recommend doing that, but yeah, that's how I got the different colors. I used to use these for sorting my reading groups, like my leveled readers for my guided reading groups, but now I don't really have a need for them. So they're just kind of sitting here because they're color Full. Then I have my pencil sharpeners. This one is an exacto pencil sharpener. It is highly recommended. It's super cheap. It's less than $30 and it lasts forever. It has a 10 year warranty. I also have my handheld sharpener. So if I don't want any noise in the room, this is from Classroom Friendly Supplies. Actually, my first YouTube video was all about this pencil sharpener. Now, one thing this pencil sharpener, my little feet came off and it does make a mess. Like it will leave streaks on here. So I actually have ordered um, like a little mat to go underneath. Then I have my lunch count area, which this is new to me because I never used to have to do a lunch count. So over here I have a basket and that's that same label that I've been showing you. They will be in my TPT store. So I have just like the little lunch count papers that stay right there with a pencil. The lunch sticks when they are done being used go in this bucket and that bucket came from Target Dollar Spot. These are those same white, white, same white buckets that I showed you up by my smart board that came from Target. They were only a dollar. So my students choose between packed, grab and go, entree one and entree two. And then here are their lunch sticks. I just taped on their name and they put it in whichever bucket they choose. And then one of my student jobs is that they count them and they take the lunch count to the cafeteria. Then over here is my math focus board. So this is just like the science and social studies one that I showed you. So I don't need to go into like too much detail. Again, it's like the board at with the black and white stripe, both from Amazon, letters cut from my Cricut black felt background. Those are dry erase sleeves. And then at the bottom here, I'm going to put math practice, really camera. There we go. Math practice posters, which I'm going to try to make. Ugh over the weekend, you guys get the point. This desk right here is actually for our TA because we have such large class sizes up to like 33, 34 kids in a class. We do have a TA that the four of us team teachers for fourth grade share. So this is just a space for her to like put any of her stuff or do any work or pull a kid if she needs to. This cart I got from Michael's like a really long time ago, but I think you guys can get it from Amazon as well. This is going to sort like graded work. So first of all, this basket on top, this is from Dollar Tree. This is where I put anything for bugs or TA, anything I want her to do, I just put in this basket so she can just peek in her head, see if there's anything there and go ahead and grab it. So these are those same labels, just put on with clear tape. So when I grade papers, I'm going to put them in this bottom bin. Then one of my student jobs is that they're going to sort them by homeroom. So my homeroom papers, one of my team teachers, all of theirs go in these drawers. And then I will have class rosters in case a student didn't write their homeroom on their paper. My mailman person will be able to look it up. Oh, and I did want to mention, so 
when we go to send home graded work, so on like Wednesdays, my mail person would take like Mrs. Blatheim's papers, run them across the hall, Miss Lee's papers, run them down the hall, and so on, and they each have a place for them to put it. Any students from other classes who have papers for me, they will put it in the Miss Frey homeroom papers. It is so nice to have a working clock again because all of last year my clock never worked and the custodians never changed the battery, so I haven't had a clock in a while, but now I finally do. These little um, number cards around them for the seconds, I got those off a of TPT, but I honestly don't remember where. There's a ton of them on there though. Then I have this Cub Cheers poster. This is a school-wide like incentive thing. Basically, it's a compliment for your class doing a good job either in the hallway, cafeteria, or assembly. So far, we have earned three Cub Cheers. I just quickly made up this sheet, laminated it, and again, it's hanging with a sticky clip. And then I have my news board. So it's like a little mini board right here by the door. I set it up the same as like my focus boards. This pencil I actually got from the Target Dollar Spot and I had no idea what I was going to use it for and it fit perfectly here. It's actually just hanging on um, little push pins rather than like actually attaching it. The little like teeth thing are just kind of hanging on there and that's where I display like their lunch calendar, band schedule, course schedule, stuff like that. And then this drawstring bag is for emergency. So it has like a flashlight, batteries, um, and like a green and red card to display when we go out to fire drills. So whenever we have a fire drill, I just quickly, quickly grab that before leaving. Now for student desk arrangements, you'll see they are mostly in groups of five. I do have a couple groups of six because I have 32 desks in here and I may end up having to put more in here, unfortunately. Next to each group, I have one of these Sterilite three drawer stands and on top I have a caddy. Now I haven't filled these caddies yet. I'm actually waiting for new ones to come in off of Amazon because you'll see I'm missing one there and I'm missing one there. So once those come in, I will fill them. For now, I just have the highlighters for the homeroom classes like I explained before, but I'll just have extra colored pencils, extra glue sticks, extra scissors, stuff like that. And then each one of my different like classes has as a drawer. So my homeroom class, they put their morning work journals in here. And then my block one and block two, they put their science and social studies journals and folders in here. And those are the same Sterilite drawer labels that I showed you up by my desk. Okay, so I think that is it. I'm gonna just kind of walk around and give you like one more shot of my room. It's really, really late and I need to get out of here. Like the lights went off in the hallway. I'm like, that is not a good sign. The janitors are probably like, why is she still here? But yeah, this is my classroom this year. Honestly, I'm in love with it. Like I walk in, I'm like, this is my house happy place. Like I just feel so good here. I got a lot of compliments from parents and meet the teacher like, oh, your classroom's so pretty. And hopefully people can just tell how much I care about teaching by the effort that I put into my classroom. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my classroom up close and personal. I promise the labels that are not my TPT store yet, they are coming. Just bear with me. Back to school time is very hectic, especially trying to learn a new curriculum. And I will update you guys either on my Instagram or in my vlogs or probably both along with updating the description box of this video with the links when when they are posted. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That just helps this video be able to reach more teachers. Share this video out, send it to your teacher friends, send it to whoever you think would enjoy watching it. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I post two videos every week and I would love for you guys to join me every week. Watch them. I love to get feedback from you all. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought. But as always, thank you for watching. I love you all so, so much. You guys keep me going. Don't forget to think positive and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video and for supporting my YouTube channel. If you want to check out any of my older videos, you can use the two links right down here. If you want to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos, you can use the link right up here. The links to my social media sites and my Teachers Pay Teacher store are in the description box for you along with my PO box if you are interested. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.